So I suppose we could chat now, couldn't we? Because obviously I'm stuck behind this traffic going up to a 30, so there's no point overtaking anything. Uh, coming into a um, little village called Cholderton, like Cholderton Charlie's, and uh, there's a bit of funny coming home from work one day. Come around this corner, I think it was in the winter, you probably see the barriers gone to see, or the new barrier just there. I think it was a, was it a fiesta? Upside down in the stream, that's a stream there. Obviously you can't see it now because it's a, uh, because it's all dried up. But in the winter, it was quite full. So that must have been quite a, quite an entertaining thing to be in when that went over in there. Put, fit, and obviously, uh, weirdly, a fiesta roof fits perfectly in the hole. So that must have been fun. Yeah, and all the uh, all the fields around here were all flooded, so the field in front. It's hard to believe it's the same place. Well, no, it's not, because it is. Um, yeah. And the, I think that's the rare breeds farm up there. That has a maize, a maize maize, M I M A I Z E maize which is basically a, a cornfield that they've let loose some drunken idiot on a combine harvester and he's cut some holes in it. And that's it really. And they put a bridge, a rickety bridge with a, two people at a time warning on it because they obviously didn't want to put them proper in there because it's just a field full of corn. So it's a pity we're going to have to go slow around the two bends. Oh dear. I should stop being a shitbag really, shouldn't I? And start, start going a bit quicker. I've uh, had an offer from my cousin, who's uh, I, I don't think he's a loon, I think, um, no, I'm not going to call him a lunatic, because I think he'd like that. Um, I think he's, uh, he's one of the misunderstood. So, I imagine, I think, that he calculates all the risks, takes all the precautions possible, but does as much as he can to test his limits. And to the people that don't know that, and haven't been in that situation before, they class that as lunacy. And I class that as just trying it out, trying your luck. Um, but obviously, the boy's got skills. I don't have the same skills, but I'd obviously like to get those skills. So I might have to take him up on his offer of going for a going for a track day with him. Yeah, on this, not on these one of these stupid, crazy sports bikes. Because you know, I, I think if I'm going to take myself out on a bike, it'll be going around a corner, whereas. If you get me a stupid little crazy sports bike, I'll take myself out going in a straight bloody line. Walking up straight lines. Oh, we're going to slow down. It's just so annoying. There's, a, there's an old railway bridge up here. And obviously, because it's an old railway bridge, it's a set distance apart. Um, and because this road is used more and more by big vehicles, They've put like a narrow road sign thing, so everyone gets this worried about it and slows down. And doubly frustrating on a motorbike because I don't give a shit what the size of the car is coming the other way. That's obviously it's two lanes wide. But then I suppose <coughs> when you get in traffic like this, you can do one or two things. Aren't you? you can get frustrated and go around them all, or you can just relax and look at the cows, or that kind of stuff, and just, just enjoy the countryside and look at what's going on. I would obviously keep your eye on the road, because that would be silly. Yellow, yellow, 
yellow car, why? Why would you have a yellow car? I don't get it. Look, 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 they put, they put grit for the road to the yellow bin. They don't make cars that are yellow. There's a reason that weird shit is yellow. Because, well, because they want people to see it and go, look at me, I'm weird. You don't make a bloody car that colour, do you? Jesus. I'm trying to think of a like, anything yellow. No, I'm alright. Yeah, yellow, why? Yellow cars. Name, like a neighbourhood watch sign. Yeah, you're in a neighbourhood watch area. There's a letter. There's a there's a yellow sign. Don't make a car at the same colour, you boneheads. There's somebody um just here sells eggs, and you must have a lot of chickens to do that on a small scale. We've I've got. Said I. I am. Um, I'm the financial support for. I don't know how many chickens? 12, 14 chickens? So the wife's got. Well, I think some of them don't qualify as chickens because they're so small. They're like for show. Not, not, for, not for proper show, but they just, you know, play things. Which is weird. Could have got another dog. Um, yeah, they, uh, they obviously lay. They obviously lay eggs. I, I did a bit of biology at school. I know where eggs come from. But they don't lay that many. And, you know, occasionally she sells them or she barters them for a child's haircut or a bit of a cake making for an event or something. But I think sometimes if she gives somebody six, they'll, they'll pay her a pound or something. Now, I'm... Because, because I'm bad at buying shit, here we go, there's a theme from the last video. Because I'm bad at buying shit, my, uh, the other f people in my family have got very good at buying shit. They, they are ninja buyers, they buy things. And the problem with me is that I don't buy stuff because I want to get the best thing at the best price for me. I'm a very firm believer in you, you pay more or you'll pay twice. And my wife just wants to pay for something, she just wants to buy something. And generally she buys something shit. And I get lumbered with putting it together and I get lumbered with getting rid of it when it falls apart because it was shit. And I'm slowly getting her into my sort of way of, right, let's not, let's not buy three of these things once a year for three years let's buy one thing that lasts for at least three years probably more the problem with that is that the, the chicken thing to buy is an, called an egg loo and these things are bloody expensive and we've got three of the damn things so I, so one of them I think cost us about 400 quid so the chickens lay eggs we generally get seven a day that you could sell and you get a pound for six so if somebody wants to do the maths the chickens we've got now they're going to have to keep laying eggs until I'm 94 to pay off one of the egg loops and then there's the other two to talk about we're going to have to go into something else maybe I might have to teach them how to play poker or something to make the money back Fiat 500, pointless car. I've got a Fiat 500, it's a pointless car. It's too small. Yeah, so again, I'm listening to my music. I'm, uh... So I, I think I spoke about my shoe one the other day. When I, I spoke a bit earlier about my father getting a cheaply helmet and stuff, and I bought um, a Shoei GT Air. I loved it initially, well, I went to get one, I saw it online, I thought I loved that colour, but at the time, the colour I wanted was the one with the, um, the Daeglo yellow stripe. So the one I've got is the one with the white, the white stripe, and I was looking at the one with the Daeglo stripe. And as I said yesterday, the biggest thing that you try and do, as a, I reckon, as a newborn biker is not look a knob. And I thought, I don't really want a Daeglo stripe on my helmet, because people think, 
will, will have a, an increased expectation of my rider ability, should we say. So I didn't get that. Well, that's not the reason. I like this one better with the white strap. I think it's great. Really comfortable. Normally, because I've got because I've got the, the head the size of well, massive it is. I think when we did um, when I was getting married, we were we were trying on hats in the hat in the rental place, and my brother and me, who have got he's got an equally big head, probably a bit bigger. The guy in the shop said, you might have to get a skip to fit your head. The guy in the shop said that to my brother. We're about to pay this guy a couple of hundred pounds, and he believes it's okay to say, you might have to get a skip in to fill your head. And he got away with it, because he was absolutely right. He's got a massive head, stupidly big head. Um, and I think it's, it's big in the wrong places, because whenever I get a helmet or a hat or anything, if I haven't tried it on, guaranteed, it'll pinch the side of my head. But this thing just feels lovely, really nice. Yes, yeah, so I've got this, and um, I thought I might as well get the um, the Cardo Shoe One fitted as well at the same time, because at the time, I needed to be contactable. And I'll probably do a journey where I talk about why I needed to be contactable. Contactable? Contactable. For a footballer. At all times I had to be on the end of a phone and able to get home as soon as I could. Yeah, I'll cover that in a little because it's a bit of a, a long thing. Yes, I've got that. And I, I love it. I love my helmet. Um, no, it's great. And the shoe's good as well. So like... Um, hooked up to my to my phone. The only problem is if I make a loud noise, the Vox kicks in and it wants, it's trying to work out what I'm doing. Um, I'm doing nothing now, it hasn't, it hasn't turned back on, so I was, I was happily listening to music. I don't know, I think I coughed or said something, and it turned itself off, which is a bit annoying. I might have to turn the Vox off so it doesn't do that. Coming into, into my home territory now, and the problem is it's 25 past two, so it's close to picking up time at school. I live right next to the school, and the uh, the place becomes a car park. And, and I don't, you know, I don't, I really don't mind. I think, you know, people are going to pick their kids up. It looks like in the past somebody has in the has put up signs saying, you know, don't don't park in here type stuff. And and people aren't going to aren't going to listen. They're going to ignore that, obviously. Um, but what, what annoys me, what I get, what grips my shit, is I take Summer to school in the morning, and um, I'm fortunate I can walk her to school, I know some people aren't that fortunate, so I walk her to school. And sometimes when I'm coming to school, or sometimes when I'm going home, down here, if there's somebody who's late for drop-off, they'll come up here like a lunatic and it annoys the shit out of me. Makes me want to go to where they live and drive my car like a lunatic. The, the Tehran, obviously, not that Fiat thing. Use my um, automatic gate opener. So there's that, or I've got a button on my shoe one that I press three times. Yeah, I've got this button, this special button that opens my gate on the shoe one. I press it three times. Oh no, here she is. I don't need to ring her now. Cancel that. Get out of the way, dog. Hello. Hello. Hunter, my lunatic dog. So I, have a, I have a kind of a... Take the front wheel. Can you hit the wall? Brake, turn the wheel. Spin it round. Back her up. I always put something in my way. I've got to sort it out so there's no shit in the garage.
I survived. Hello, buddy. There's the big lummox. Hello, big lummox. Hello, big lummox. You idiot. Stupid, stupid ass, a stupid dog.